The original ZW ASI Air came out in 2018, and honestly, it was a revolution in the world of astrophotography. It finally allowed us to ditch plugging into a computer and image all night via a phone or a tablet from the comfort of our car. The ASI Air was an excellent product, however, it suffered from a couple of issues. First, its plastic case made it feel a little fragile, and second, the power port would become worn out over time. So when slewing throughout the night, it may disconnect. Also, the only way to attach it to your setup was with a hook and loop strap, which wasn't always ideal. Honestly, it's jerry-rigged so terribly, but it's on here and it's stuck and it's good to go. ZWO listened to its customers and built a new and improved version of the ASI Air, which came out in 2020, the ASI Air Pro. This gadget had better specs, came in a metal case, and its ports were built to last. After a complete overhaul, the ASI Air is sure to be in its most perfect version now, right? Well, some people, including us, had just one problem. The metal case of the ASI Air Pro proved to be a double-edged sword. Although it had good intentions, the thicker material of the beautiful new case blocked much of the Wi-Fi signal and considerably reduced the Wi-Fi range compared to the plastic version. So I guess ZWO knows we've been using the ASI Air since the very first generation because they sent us an email asking if we could try the 2021 version of the ASI Air, officially called the ASI Air Plus. In this video, we will unbox the ASI Air Plus and go over all the new features and improvements. Could this be the most perfect version of the ASI Air? Or will the new design reveal a few new issues? Let's take a look. All right, guys, let's see what's in the box. Uh, this was uh, the very first box uh, from a few years ago. Then we have the ASI Air Pro here. And now here, which is very warm because UPS has dropped it off. Literally like five minutes ago. Is going to be the new one, ASI Air Plus. And I like how they always say, as easy as one, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> so let's put this away. Goodbye. And let's open up the new ASI Air. Very exciting. So what do we have inside? I don't know. Okay. Let's see. What's this? Interesting. It is. It says it's clear nice, skies. Just a nice uh, message for a us. Little, a little nice card in different languages as well. And with a lot of names. Oh, I think this, those people, got, I know TJ uh, AS, ASI Air Dream Partners. Yeah, those guys, I think they helped uh, with the product. Nice. Um, I know TJ and uh, a few other guys, actually. Amazing. Interesting. Okay. Great um, work. I've, I'm excited to these see. Guys, <laughs> these guys are often on the Facebook page helping others as well. Wow, look at it. It's a very nice touch. Okay, so we have the new one here. Oh, it's stuck. Yep. Oh, it's like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we have the antenna, guys. The uh, Wi-Fi antenna. Who even knew? Which All is... of our problems from before <laughs> solved. And then, of course, in there, they always include a bunch of cables. So we have a USB 3 cable here. We have a bunch of power cables here. And we have Great. so many cables now. Looks like different sizes. <laughs> yeah, a Looks bunch good. of power cables. And that's it. We have just a couple of papers here telling us how to activate the ASI Air. Ooh. All right, so uh, let's focus on the actual box here. There's already, obviously, different things. So you can see that it's still metallic, which is, you know, really cool. I really love that design with the ASI Air Pro. But now we have this like long range antenna, which will help us get that range that we were missing with the ASI Air Pro. Hopefully, yeah, we'll try out tonight. So now when I'm out there imaging, I can be in my house instead of like right at the crack of the door, especially during the winter time when it's cold. And you also have some uh, new other new features. Here, for example, you can connect the PC directly to the ASI Air Plus, uh, so you can transfer your, fi your files without having to use a, an SD card or something else. So you can just transfer your files directly from the box to the PC, which is pretty cool. And I believe also uh, you have some lights uh, either on this side or maybe here. No. Nope. Uh, I think it's on this yep. side, yeah. These little tiny dots right on the top will indicate if it's working, if it's distributing power, so they'll light up. All along here, which is different. That wasn't there before. That's really neat. And yeah, so we'll try it out tonight and we'll show you guys um, if it's, you know, how it's working. So excited. And hopefully everything goes well. <gasps> Boop. 
Okay, so we have all three uh, generations of ASI Air in front of us here. So let's quickly go over them and show you guys uh, the design and feature differences here. So we have the first generation here, which was the, just simply called the ASI Air. As you can see, it's plastic. And the power port here uh, was kind of a, a pain because it would always uh, Come get loose. loose very simply. Yes, yeah, so it was a bit annoying. And then next came the second generation here, the ASI Air Pro. Uh, as you can see, it came with a, a USB flash drive, which is cool. And this one was a huge improvement, metal, a bunch of ports. It's a lot nicer, sleeker looking, more ports. It definitely did a lot more for us. This is the one that I've been using with my setup and helps distribute a lot of the power control that I need. And lastly, we have the third generation, which is the ASI Air Plus, uh, which is much thinner than uh, the last one, as you can see here. And it is the same size in height and uh, it is a bit lighter as well. All right, so let's try it out tonight. It's about to get dark in about two hours and we'll see if it all works good. Let's do it. If you've seen my solo video before, you may have noticed I have a lot of ZWO products all over my scope and setup. So it's no surprise that here I am again with the ASI Air Plus. And uh, now we're going to attach it to the telescope for the first time ever. So we'll just, if you want to come over this way, we'll slide it in this way and it goes in just perfectly. And we'll tighten this one and tighten that one. It's a little hard for me to get in there, but no problem. If I ever have trouble, what I didn't know about the other one was that it had these like holes here so I could set it up the other way. I don't think I'll be using, well actually I will be using that because I have to. <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty easy setup, same thing. And really neat because the um, antenna is not everywhere. It's, I can point it out that way, because I'll be in my house. Okay, so we were thrilled to image that night. Sadly, the online license to use the app with this early model of the SI Air was not quite ready yet, and we had to ask the WO to manually create a key for us. I received the license activation key a few days later, but by now Antoine has already left for France. So kind of crazy, but I will try to make a video where I'm using the ASI Air Plus to image a deep sky object in the coming weeks. Also, right after this day, an insane wall of smoke hit Las Vegas from all the wildfires in California. And at the moment, we are completely covered in smoke. If you don't see a video of me imaging with the ASI Air Plus soon, then that likely means that the smoke has been here for weeks. But in short, we are very happy to see that ZWO really cares about all the feedback they see on forums and social media. We love that they continue to improve the ASI Air year after year. This model seems to, finally, be perfect. Well, I'll have a final verdict when I finally do get to test it out. Um, the smoke is starting to clear up outside, so it's going to be a lot safer for me to be out there and also to image. But let's just recap four of the things that make the ASI Air Plus different from the ASI Air Pro. First is the antenna, obviously, that helps with the Wi-Fi range. We've also got these lights here on the side that indicate power is going into the ports. And on the side we have the PC port here which you can plug in directly into your computer so you can import uh, the files. And also the design and technology so it's a lot thinner, it's less heavy and it's also built to be more dust resistant. And then on the inside it will reboot itself in case there's a failure that happens which is pretty neat. And that's about it. Um, hopefully I'll have something for you guys soon and I'll catch you guys next time. Clear skies.
Can you think of more improvements that can be made to the design? Let us know in the comments, and who knows, ZWO may take note because of your ideas. <laughs>